Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie here. I'm a military lifestyle vlogger here on the tube, and I strive to make videos that can help you guys out in some way, shape, or form. If you're new, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, and don't worry, because we're going to hurry up and wait. Keep pushing my limits and all the drive that I have while I'm going the distance. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, good. So, now that you're subscribed, you can continue to see more videos like this. And always, always, always drop me a comment in the comments line. I love to talk to you guys. I love to communicate, talk about whatever in the comments. So drop me a line, thumbs up this video, and let's get on to it. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm really excited for this because this is something that I've like wanted to record happening for forever. But I do want you guys to understand that I am an AGR soldier, and AGR is very different than M Day, like your typical drill weekend, one week in a month situation. I I work full time for the guard, so my experience at the range this is my first time experience it, experiencing it as an AGR soldier so my experience is probably going to be quite different than I've experienced before but I figured it would be something exciting to share on the channel and I hope that you guys enjoy it we're just pulling into the gate right now what's up I'm recording ready to go to fly with this again yeah, I'm recording for my YouTube channel. Blue Beacon. So usually when you go to the range, you freaking would be like riding on a bus or like the army would transport port you. All right, y'all, so we just finished shooting at the range. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to post any of the content because I got told by my chain of command that I am not allowed to post anything. So, I don't know what that entails. I don't know where my channel is going as far as being a vlogger. Um, I guess I shouldn't say it like that, but I don't know where I don't know where my channel is going to go from here because now I feel like I'm definitely going to have to get sort some sort of counseling or understanding. I Nothing that I recorded today was against the rules, any army regulations, nothing at all. Um, I have been the public affairs representative for my unit for three years now. I also have been, I have worked in the recruiting and retention battalion as the social media specialist for them for over a year. So I'm very informed about what I can and cannot post. So I'm just really confused and like I just want you guys to know how difficult it is for me to record these videos in, in my uniform. That is why there really aren't that many vlogs of me in uniform or if you guys catch me in uniform in a vlog it's because I'm like getting ready to change and go do something and I just wanted to like catch the opening footage of me or like I got something in the mail and I wanted to show you guys so bad um, and I was still in uniform. Those are the only times that you guys see me in uniform. I would never on life jeopardize my career. I love I love the army. I love everything about my military career. I love the people. I love everything about it. And I would never do anything to jeopardize any of these people or my career or anything. You guys even see my description bar. My description bar is so detailed in saying that I've made sure to follow all of the regulations. 
I'm not going to go home and post something that happened the exact same day that it happened because my editing process is like, it takes like 10 hours for me to edit a three minute video because if there is anything that could remotely be misconstrued or taken out of context or something that I was wearing that I shouldn't have been wearing or something that I was doing that could jeopardize my career, I take that shit out. Like... I am very, very aware of what I can and cannot do, and I would never do something that is against the rules. So, with that being said, I just don't know what I am going to be really vlogging on my channel, and like this may mean that I have to do more sit-down talk videos with you guys. Um, I legit, I can't use any of the clips. I got told that I cannot use any of the clips from today. Um, I did not even get any footage of myself shooting at the range. I did not get, I got, I did not get any footage of like what targets pop up where and when they pop up, like so people could use that to cheat on their range. I didn't get any of that. So it's just kind of crazy to know that I have I have recorded videos at this range. I have also um, taken hella pictures at this range, even pictures of the highest ranking person. I'm just going to put that out there, like at this range shooting with the targets up and visible and posted that online to National Guard social media accounts and whatnot. So it's just a little bit, I'm, I'm very upset, if you can tell. So this is it. This is real life. This is what's happening. This vlog is about to turn into us going to Fort Riley to get, we want new boots. So we're going to go to Fort Riley and get new boots. Um, that's really all I have to say. We were going to stop for food. I'm sure we'll still stop for food. I don't know how much I'm going to eat because... When I get upset like this, like, I'm sure you guys can tell right now that my personality is not the way that it usually is. But when I get, this guy's about to look at me. Okay, he didn't. Um, when I get upset like this, I kind of shut down. Like, I'm, when I get very angry, I tend to cry. And it's not because I'm upset. It is because I am annoyed that there is absolutely nothing I could do about it. And... Um, my body's reaction is to cry, but, like, I don't even feel that coming out. So, anyways, my friend's about to get back in the car. We're gonna go to Fort Riley and buy these shoes and probably go get something to eat. And I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to fix this attitude, you know. I feel like those guys were stopped there, like, staring at me with their ratchet. I'm going to steal some children van that says Choice Books on the back of it. <laughs> we just bought new boots. I got the newest Nikes. I don't remember the name. I'll review them. And he got Rocky 2.5? I don't know the I'll show you a picture of this boot. Bring it to the front. Bring it to the front. Bring it to the front. Okay, Rocky 065s. This is... Okay. This is what they look like. Okay, I just got scared that we were getting in trouble again for filming. But we're not. He's trying to fix his glass. Anyways, um... I like to have more I like to have more than one pair of boots because I like to swap them out and the issued boots are just like they really don't work for my flat feet. Um I feel like I they cause more damage than anything, so um I try to get boots that are basically similar to wearing tennis shoes. So I got the new Nike's and I will do a review of those when we get home. I'm gonna stop filming because honestly I feel like people are tripping out today. Like I just don't. I thought he was coming over 
to tell me to stop filming and I'm like I am filming myself bruh what's going on anyways filling up with gas and we're about to go home thank Jesus I'll review the boots when we get there hi guys um so wasn't gonna film and then I was like I told you that I wanted to take you like on this fitness journey with me and I felt like it would be wrong for me not to like film today at all um just like not in a good space and I don't really know how to like explain it or anything hold on my dog wants in so I honestly like don't know how to explain the way that I feel right now but yesterday I just had like a really bad day at drill weekend and it's like crazy because the older you get the more you realize that like people in this world do not care about anyone but themselves and when you are a good person a lot of times that gets taken advantage of um if you piss off the wrong people it can affect you I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. I like don't even have any more. I can't even like cry anymore. Because. Mentally shit is just right now. I. Today luckily was my day off of work so that helps I guess a little bit I don't know I'm still gonna try to work out today um I think one of the biggest reasons why like working out was so hard for me to go back to is because the last time that I felt this depressed working out was like my coping thing and when that failed, like it took some years, but when it finally failed, I realized that I was like working out as a way of trying to like push through the other pain that I was feeling. And like some, the only way that I can think of explaining that is like some people, like people who cut, um, they do that because like it's another source of pain like so you don't feel the pain that you're going through and like for me instead of cutting and instead of like doing something to myself I worked out which I was able to like push through all of the pain of like I was able to push through the pain working out because of that I don't I don't know I don't know how I'm trying to explain this and I feel like it's going to be super misconstrued so it's like just shut up and like tell people like hey I'm depressed and this is real life and I told you I was going to take you on this journey so I'm filming this now so that you guys know that it's not like rainbows and butterflies so I deleted my Facebook last night I have like thought hard and long about deleting all social media and just literally like going ghost. The only people who need to know anything about me is my family and the f few friends that I have that I can count on one f hand that I consider family because they've seen me and my ups and downs and whatever. It's just so crazy to me how much people only care about themselves. Like, I care so much for people that I shouldn't give two shits about. And it sucks. And it sucks that when you're doing good and someone sees you doing good, they have to try everything in their power to f destroy that. Like, just because... Just because you're no longer a part of their life, you, they want to do everything in their power to, like, you can't be happy if they're not happy. It's crazy because me 
me six months ago compared to me now would still be in bed right now, incapable of getting up, would be calling into work, incapable of going to work because mentally I couldn't do it. I'm not going to lie, I woke up today at 9.30. I went to bed last night, well yesterday, I was in bed at 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm exhausted with life. Like I'm just tired. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of having to go through stupid shit. And I'm tired of my mind thinking the way that it does. I'm also tired of people feeling the need to insert themselves into my life. Like, I don't think I would feel the way that I feel right now if it wasn't, like, for the past few weeks, like, people keep, like, commenting on my Instagram photos or, like, in real life to my face commenting and being like, so are you like talking to anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Are are you like any plans of getting married soon? Like someone commented on my Instagram the other day and said like how beautiful I am. And then they were like, someone like you deserves to be married. Like you don't think that I know that I deserve to be married. Like you don't think that I know that any man will be lucky to have me. And then the people who try to, like, say, like, well, you just need to use this time to find yourself, bitch. I've been, I have found myself. I know myself. I know what I want. I, I don't think someone who has the things that I have going on for me in life, I don't think someone would accomplish all that shit without knowing themselves first. I have spent 27 years of my life getting to know myself I went all through high school never had a boyfriend I went all through high school all through college I had the same boyfriend the whole time and we broke up before I went on deployment I came back from deployment every single person who's been in my in and out of my life since that relationship has been a complete piece of human garbage and the crazy thing is is that I'm the one who saw it and knew this was a waste of time like this isn't gonna work whatever like I have had plenty of time to know myself and to know what I deserve and what I don't deserve and what like the fact that people feel the need to insert themselves and say things like that pisses me off I understand that I'm 27. I understand that the career that I have, I work with people who are much older than me. I understand that. Yeah, whatever. Y'all have been through some shit. But you all are also married and you all also grew up in a generation that I I am, have not. I know for a fact that when it comes to certain things about me, like I know that I see things from an older perspective person's perspective because I was raised by parents that were older I it just is so frustrating and I'm like you don't know what people have gone through or what they're experiencing in life to get on social media and comment about how oh like I can't understand how you're not wifed up like it hurts it hurts when you say things like that to people and then I'm like, okay, so if this is happening at 27, how long till people start asking me why I haven't had kids? I don't know. Maybe because there's not in my life. That's why. That's why. Like, I'm sorry that I want to be married before I have children, and that's not a thing anymore. I'm sorry that people in my generation have no idea what love is or how to be in a relationship with someone or just simply how to be a good person in life. People don't think, people don't think like 
think before you say things to people. Like, you have no idea what people are going through. Think before you say it. I feel like I'm just, like, on a ramble now. But, like, this is real life. And really, the way that I feel. And... If I didn't show it, I feel like I'd be disappointed because it's one thing for me to be perfectly fine and go back and talk about this stuff. And it's another thing for me to be going through it right here and right now and show you that, like, life isn't great 100% of the time. And I feel so disrespectful to God for saying stuff like that. But, like, I am not okay right now. And I am doing my best to be okay. And I am spending a lot of time, like, talking to God and just really trying to put my faith in that, like, shit that goes on in my life would not be happening, like, without any reason. So... Anyways, didn't get on here to f here and cry again. But that's where my headspace is right now. Miraculously, I thought that my eyes would show up a lot worse than they are. I woke up and I woke up at like 1.30 to let the dogs out to go to the bathroom and my eyes were just I was like, if I had to go to work tomorrow, I'd have to call in because I'm scary, y'all. Like I look scary. I'm about to drink my coffee. I'm like watching YouTube videos. I'm probably going to do Bible study today. Just need to go outside and sit in the sun, I think. I'll talk to you guys when maybe I'm a little bit more emotionally stable. To talk to you.